All right, let's solve one more question from the pressure concept by using a, it's not an official U-shaped tube, but it looks like it, or I did it on purpose, okay? Um, before we move on to more complicated questions that involve the forces on submerged structures, right? Here's what the question reads. A pipe containing oil is connected to an open water tank as shown in the figure, right over here. It is asking me, what is the absolute pressure at in this pipe? By the way, the pipe is in and out of the screen. I have the pipe that has oil in it, right? And this is water, as I mentioned, okay? And this is open to atmosphere, as you can see. And the dimensions are given, right? And the choices are right over here, okay? One thing I want to tell you right away is, you know, logic that you may want to use to eliminate some choices in these kind of questions. Look at it. Atmospheric pressure is pushing it in, right? And there's water everywhere. And this oil is pushing it in. And did you realize that this is pushing more in, you know, it is actually 0 0.3 meters more than the atmosphere. You know what that means? This means that the pressure over here is more than the atmospheric pressure, okay? So you can see A cannot be the answer because we know that it's right around 101325 is the atmospheric pressure, okay? Something to note. Um, obviously, I did it on purpose so that you cannot directly choose. I've seen some FE questions where you eliminate in some cases up to three choices and you don't even need to do some math okay real ex real FE exam questions I'm talking about so in the previous two questions that I solved I said that I want to have everything up to the final answer in terms of gauge and then convert to absolute so now I'm going to illustrate how to do it at the beginning you can start with converting everything to absolute and then the final answer will be absolute because now everything is in absolute terminology so then if I'm using absolute the pressure right over here will be PATM, right? So let's start with that. So PATM will be equal to 101.325 Pascal. I will have a question uh, for you. And here's the question. In this line, can I say that the pressure is constant? The answer is yes. Here's the reason. You look at it, this is like a U-shaped tube, right? So you're going down in water over here, and then you go in this direction, the pressure is constant, then you start to go up. And the distance that you go up over here and the distance that you go up over here are the same and I'm traveling in the same fluid so yes that is uh, something that we need to understand okay so I simply will go ahead and find my pressure at that red dotted uh, elevation and then I'll do one more step okay let's call this point B just for the ease of it let me say PB will be equal to 101.325 in Pascals Plus, why plus? Because I'm going down. Thousand, that is the density of water, kilogram per meter cube. That's given in the AFE reference manual. The G is 9.81, so basically what I'm doing is rho GH, right? Rho GH, that's what I'm trying to write. Rho is density, G is gravity, H is the height. And what is the height between uh, this point and this point? Well, it's given over here 0 0.3. So will this 45 degree will come into the play? No, not really, so far, okay? And that will be 0 0.3. Okay, so um, I don't have to calculate this because I'm not being asked to find PB. I will simply proceed to find and go find my PA, okay? So now the good point is I know this, okay? So basically forget about the rest of this problem. So this whole thing doesn't exist anymore. So this pressure is given, this pressure is being asked, okay? So as simple as that. One thing before I proceed further is I see some SG 0 0.8. So let's just convert that to the density. So I look at the reference manual and I see that SG is equal to density of what I'm dealing with respect to density of water at 4 degrees C, which is 1000 kilogram per meter cube. And this is 0 0.8. So from here, you're going to get rho as 800 kilogram per meter cube. So I did that kind of quickly, right? And then I write PA will be equal to PB plus or minus. I'm going from PB to PA. So that will be negative, right? Because I'm going up, right, in the elevation. So that's going to be PA is equal to PB minus rho, which I'm traveling in oil. G is 9.81. So what is the, um, yeah, okay. So what is the height between here and here? That is given as 0 0.4. And I plugged 0 0.4 in my equation, correct? Nope, not really. Because that is not elevation. 
So what I need to do is I need to convert that to height, right? In order to do that, you can see the angle is given as 45. Um, many of you know it, but I, I just want to draw it for you. So this is 0 0.4, this is 45, and this is being asked, this height, right? So that's going to be 0 0.4 times sine 45. Sine 45, okay? Um, and so then basically, as you can see in here, um, you get your PA to be 101.325 plus 9810, 0 0.3. That is my PB, right? This is my PB minus, I mean, the, this whole thing over here, okay? And basically what I do is I go ahead and punch it into my calculator and I do see that I get myself right around 101,600 pascals, okay? So now if I convert and I look at over here, you can see that 102 is the answer that I have here, right? So this is it, okay? Thank you for watching this video. Now we'll go proceed with harder questions that involve forces.